Hello everyone, my name is TNG Street Rider, and I am back once again with another Marvel Heroes gameplay highlight, this time featuring Nova. Alright, so it's been a while since my last video, and I do apologize for that, but uh, Rogue simply had too many powers to try to possibly fit into one video, but I am back now with the Nova, and uh, fans of Nova will be happy that we do have, as a default, the Richard Rider from uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. He's also one of the older Novas. And uh, his Sam Alexander, which is the newer Nova, he is just a the alternate costume. So, first of all, what does Nova have? Well, Nova has three trees. Each tree is very distinct. So, it's there's not really an overlapping of what you need for each tree. Cosmic Blaster, very uh, self-explanatory. It's all of his range powers. Uh, they're all blaster powers. We have his major beam, his nova beam, his cascading bolts, and then his three pulsars. Uh, his three pulsars are all unique, and his first one is kind of like a mine, which I will show you them a little bit in a little bit. Uh, we have his cosmic brawler tree, which is his melee-ish powers. Uh, we have his cosmic combo, which is my favorite move that he has. Uh, we have his Nova Punch, which is his basic melee. Very useful in restoring the shield, but I actually didn't like the mechanic of the way it uh, worked, so I will show you why. Uh, we have his, his passive that you're going to need, which is his uh, crit and dodge passive. It's one of his main passives. Uh, this is crowd co control immunity. I, I didn't take anything in that because I don't need to show you crowd control immunity. Um, we have his signature power, Supernova, in here. And we have his Nova Pulse, which some of you will remember from uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And his last tree is Human Rocket. This is all of his movement powers, and they're actually very useful on Nova, and they, they do a lot of damage. Mostly because of his toggle right here, Rocket Speed. Uh, you get tons of different bonuses, you get extra dodge rating. Um, you and your allies gain power. I, I mean, it, it lets his other moves hit amazingly hard. So we can go ahead and go down into my bar and see what I've picked here for my personal build. And again, this is going to be a character you can pick the skills that you like. He's going to have a lot of different flavors to him. Uh, but I've gone ahead with his minor beam. Basic attack, quick attack, and it restores a good amount of spirit each time you hit with it. So... I've gone ahead with his Nova Pulse, which is kind of a move you can hold down and it will keep using Spirit. Uh, it does energy damage to everything around him and regenerates uh, HP when you hit an enemy. Uh, when you keep casting it, not only does it cost more Spirit, but it also does more damage, more healing. And uh, it's really nice to use right after you hit a Supernova, which is just signature power because you can just hold this button down and do massive amounts of damage. Uh, after that, I've gone ahead and picked his Cosmic Combo, Error. Designate target to continue. which I will have to show you later on, because I don't have a target. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. He basically super speeds over to an enemy, hits him twice. It, it, doesn't, it looks bad versus one box, but when you see it in the middle of enemies, it looks awesome. He has his Fallen Star, which is kind of a basic crash down power, but it looks awesome. It does have a 3 second cooldown, but this one actually leaves behind an AoE. It's kind of similar to Iron Man's uh, Bombardment, where it's, 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 it's kind of two powers in one, in my opinion. It's like Iron Man's Bombardment and Iron Man's Falls to the Sky move. Uh, just a great move to have on your bar. Throw it in there whenever it's up. On F, I have his rocket power. Uh, his is unique because it does damage not just when he charges through, but also the tail end of it will also do damage. So you can hit some enemies twice. His Q is his Nova Beam, very similar to the other ultimate beams that people have. Only difference is he gets his, I believe, at level 1. Level 2, the latest. I, I didn't really check before I started hitting Queen's Bank. But uh, 
does the same amount of damage, which is lots of damage, has the ongoing spirit cost, and it's very useful. And I've used it as a kind of a, uh, I use it as kind of a hit and run style, and I'll show you that during combat. On E, we have his supernova power, which, as you can see, it's building up. Boom. Explodes. Very cool. It also, uh, while it's building up, it gives you a 5 second buff when none of your powers will have a cooldown or spirit cost to it. Very useful. And then there you saw me use uh, my last skill that I personally use. It's called his Nova Dash. And you charge up and dash. And it leaves behind a very cable like um, pulsar effect. Uh, another character has it. The Human Torch also has this type of move. You know, when you combine it with that, get in with that, dash out with that, and you're leaving behind a lot of AoE damage. Uh, and then you can turn around. Uh, my combo is head in with that, dash out with that, turn around, and just fire into the group. And it melts groups of enemies uh, very, very easily. Show off some of his other skills. That's his quick little bolt right there, cascading bolt. Each time you detonate a pulsar, it will actually do more damage. That right there is his first pulsar, unstable pulsar. It will take the full three seconds to detonate, or you can detonate it prematurely by hitting it with another pulsar power. His next pulsar is magnetic pulsar, and that will it should draw enemies in, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry, this one is the slowing effect pulsar. So it does lots of damage. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Uh, the the effects on him are just absolutely amazing. Uh, his last one I was trying to show you was a super massive pulsar. And that one when it explodes will actually pull enemies in. Uh, let me see if I can... I fired off two of them there by accident. Did not mean to do that. So I'll switch to his other one. Detonate it. And boom. It pulls everything in. And that's the thing, you need to use one of your pulsar weapons or one of your movement powers to detonate them. So very easy to, to use. And they, they all do a variety of different things. And this first one, the cooldown resets after it detonates. So you can constantly detonate it if you want to switch back and forth. On F, I just have his rocket speed toggle. There's no visual effect, it's just a passive. Uh, on Q, I have his other passive, which is Starbomb Power. This is really what you're going to need if you're going to do a ranged build, uh, because it will increase the damage and re and it will reduce the cost of all these pulsars. And then his rocket move. That's just his basic movement spell. Nothing special. And then we have his light speed strike. His light speed strike is similar to a bouncing bolt spell from. Loki or the uh, the teleport strike from Nightcrawler. It basically shows him bouncing around from enemies in uh, very fast speed. The reason I don't use it in my main build is because while you're using it, you can't do any other moves. So he's better off not using it in my opinion. This blue bar above is his secondary resource. It's his Nova Shield. He regenerates it whenever he is using uh, whatever he is moving or using movement power he also can regenerate it by using his cosmic brawler which I will show you right now cosmic brawler is his basic melee attack and it basically causes him to dance around the enemies that he is fighting so and that will restore his shield per hit so let me go ahead and switch back to my main build and we'll see how we can do Overall, uh, he does have quite a few different build pads, which is really nice. Uh, he, I prefer to use him as kind of a hitting run style because it reminds me of how I used to use the Human Torch when he first came out. Uh, and I, I am very surprised and pleased with Nova. He did take a while to come out. He was originally announced as the first advanced pack hero, but. Uh, you know, he's hitting Marvel Heroes with, with style, he's doing tons of damage, and 
seems to be a solid buy at this point. Again, this isn't final, he is on the test center. So his numbers may change a little bit, you know, by the time he gets released. But for now, Nova is an absolute fun character to play. And seems to totally be worth your time and money. Uh, if you like range melee brawlers. Um, and I know that kind of sounds like he can do everything, and, and really it's going to come down to how you want to build him. He's not a character where I can say, oh, well, he's 100% melee, or he's 100% range. It, it's really, it really is going to be up to you. And, and I think a lot of people have fun with his movement powers more than anything, so they may choose to build him in a completely different way. And crash down. And as you can see, he, his amount of damage he does to groups is fantastic. Uh, I was originally having some trouble with his damage to single boss enemies, but once I switched out his uh, to cosmic combo instead of his light strike, you know, he, he takes care of everything. Which let me show you. All right, here's his light strike. That's the problem. Sometimes on these ring missions, things die so fast. All right. So here he is. That's his cosmic combo. It will keep going as many times as you press the button, or until you run out of um, spirit. And you can use it on one enemy. It will still do a lot of damage. It's one of the main reasons why I picked it over his other move, which is his light speed strike. And as you can see there, he just kind of bounces around, which looks cool, and I'm sure it will be a great leveling up tool, but at the highest level, I don't see it being very useful because there are so many more skills that you could be casting and doing so much more damage. Um, And unfortunately, I, I believe I'm already out of things to talk about. I kind of get lost a little bit when, I, when I'm playing him because uh, Nova is actually just so much fun of a character. Uh, really well put together. And, you know, they, they've taken their time with getting him right, getting him, you know, the way Marvel wants him, and uh, making sure that the, the fans of Richard Ryder versus Stan Alexander were all uh, taken care of. And uh, not only do I really respect that, but it seems that taking the extra time has paid off because he's a fantastic character that has uh, really come together. And I think uh, fans not only of Nova but of uh, characters that have his playstyle in general will be very pleased with him. He's kind of like a, he's got like a little hit and run style. It's really great. just AoE galore. And again, I'm using this kind of a hybrid range and melee with a, a good emphasis on his movement abilities. You can build him full melee if you want. You can even try to go full movement abilities if you want. Um, I like to kind of mix up a little bit of all three just because uh, it's what I've personally found to be the most powerful. I have been playing him since he was released on Test Center this morning. Uh, and He's just a fantastic character, at least as far as my style goes. Um, he doesn't have the real, you know, build your own character kind of appeal. But if you just want a standard 400 splinter character who is something new, he's uh, not only new, but very strong as well. And it's going to be worth picking up. Thought you could stop me? That. Sorry, I switched to the thing on the floor. Done yet? Yet again? Nova thanks for And and something else I want to tell you because I, I was showing you the difference between 
Richard Ryder and Sam Alexander. As you can see, all of his powers were kind of orangey. Sam Alexander is actually all blue. Uh, people remember this from the Spider-Man and Friends type of, uh, I believe it was a TV show. It's kind of dedicated for kids, but it, it uh, he's kind of the new Nova. And all of his powers are blue. You see the icon colors of them have changed as well. It's just a nice little touch that they've done. This is what I mean when I say that, uh, Behold my creations. you know, they've really done a nice job with it. taking their time, making sure fans of both Novas, or both of the main Novas, have been uh, taken care of. Because no matter which one you like, he does look great, and he functions great. He is a little squishy, uh, because he's a dodge-based hero rather than a physical damage. Uh, resistance based hero but he, he's gonna hold up fine he really is and his ultimate ability which I haven't shown yet is called Nova Corpse so I'm gonna pull them in now call in the Nova Corpse and they come down flying they're more of a multi-hitting type spell but uh, in this situation they, they do quite a number of in this so they're Tell me somebody saw that. And that actually sounds exactly like the voice actor from the TV show, the TV cartoon. So there you go, folks. We have Nova, we have Richard Ryder, and we have Sam Alexander. Uh, new addition to Marvel Heroes 2015. And if you're a fan of the character, it's going to be a no-brainer. If you're not a fan of the character, but you like characters that are have lots of build pats or maybe you're just interested in having a new blaster character Nova is a great example of what uh, of what you can do again main combo for for this build that I'm using now is jump in dash out turn around and blast him I did that a little slow but you know, he, he, he does great things. He does a lot of AoE damage, and I think most folks will be very happy with him. As you can see, I didn't use anything special, just blues and purples, uh, a couple of artifacts, and then just a Lady Deathstrike medallion, and he was all set. So that's the end of my preview, guys. Hope you tune in next time, and thanks for watching.